Wuthering Heights, one of the most famous Gothic classic novel in the history, is a story of love, betrayal and revenge as it claims. I admire the book mainly because of the way author, Emily Bronte did write the book. The amazing choice of words, the structure of sentence and figurative language in this book altogether give readers a feeling of nostalgia in a unique way. It is a true masterpiece in both literature and classics. Moreover, the book can improve your vocabulary in a wicked way. What I love about this novel is the setting, the wilderness. This is not a story about niceties and upper-class propriety. This is the tale of people who aren't so socially acceptable, who live away from the strict rules of civilization, it's almost as if they're not quite from the world we know. The isolation of the setting out on the Yorkshire moors between the fictional dwellings of the Heights and Thrush Cross Grange emphasizes how far removed these characters are from social norms, how unconventional they are, and how lonely they are. This is a novel for readers who can appreciate unlikable characters, readers who don't have to like someone to achieve a certain level of understanding of them and their circumstances. People are not born evil. So what makes them that way? What torments a man so much that he refuses to believe he has any worth? What kind of person digs up the grave of their loved ones so they can see them once again? Heathcliff was not created to be liked or to earn your forgiveness. Emily Bronte simply tells his story from the abusive and unloved childhood he endured to his obsession with the only person alive who showed him any real kindness, to his adulthood as an angry, violent man who beats his wife and imprisons the younger Cathy in order to make her marry his son. It would be so easy to hate Heathcliff, and I don't feel that he is some dark, sexy hero like others often do. But I appreciate what Emily Bronte attempts to teach us about the cycle of violence and aggression. Heathcliff eventually becomes little more than the man he hates. By being brought up with beatings and anger he in turn unleashes it on everyone else. And Cathy is no delicate flower either. What hope did Heathcliff have when the only person he ever loved was so selfish and vindictive? But I love Emily Bronte for creating such imperfect, screwed up characters. This is a dark novel that deals with some very complicated people, but I think in the end we are offered the possibility of peace and happiness through Cathy, younger, and Hareton's relationship, and the suggestion that Cathy, older, and Heathcliff were reunited in the afterlife. The book did take a lot of time from me though the book really worth it.